but are, are you aware and and have you seen or experienced the uh, Jimmy Wang Yang's redneck party bus that I hear so much about? I I am, and there's also a princess bus. I okay, okay, <laughs> that was the next question. Uh, <laughs> because <laughs> because i this is uh legendary and i'm trying to figure out a way actually I, I think there might be an opportunity for me to go to cincinnati and experience this um yeah please i, I don't think we talk about this on the show can you tell us about the party bus <laughs> um i mean i haven't partied on the party bus okay. myself um but i've seen it and i know that you know i, I mean i know jimmy and he's he's a fun dude so you know if you can be in a camouflage bus with you know <laughs> duct tape letters on the side driven by the korean cowboys and <laughs> you know, that sounds like a party to me right <laughs> as if as if like his wwe career as everybody knows it wasn't crazy enough uh there's this <laughs> right that's amazing this is one of those and i, I mean i think it's awesome because it, mm-hmm. it really is something that um you know he he realized that that was something that there was a need for it and um you know, he's been doing great with it and that you know something that um that fits fits his personality and his lifestyle so mm-hmm. you know he can kind of schedule his life the way he wants to um so i mean i think it's awesome and it's you know he it, being able to do something that um has that kind of longevity you know is when when a lot of people kind of maybe take take a different turn in their career and then they don't know what to do but I, he's, he's really found a niche and is is growing so it's awesome <laughs> awesome thanks a lot thank you for indulging me for that one mary elizabeth <laughs> mary elizabeth Monroe. she's uh she's all over the place uh we got a couple uh her matches over at pittsburgh